And then another comma, I said, yeah, that nigga doing something right out there. You feel me? And that's just what it is. Real recognize real, and a lot of you niggas don't look familiar. You look very unfamiliar. Yeah, you know, these are familiar faces right here. Real yeah. niggas. Yeah. Huh? Niggas that's familiar with you. Take a look at some dinosaurs, nigga. <laughs> we dinosaurs, nigga. We extinct, nigga. They dug these bones up, nigga. Understand that. You yeah, dig? Look at some dinosaurs, nigga. Look, this nigga, this, this is about six, seven T-Rexes, nigga. <laughs> Eat, nigga. Be hungry, nigga. Nigga, dig. Carnivores, nigga. <laughs> yes. Get him started, man. So you're back to this interview. Everybody can chime in, man. Let's let us know what this real LA shit is about, man. Repping it from the like, the the the, the sex of all the movies that was made out here, nigga. All the records, all the history, you know what I'm saying? All the culture, cause that's like what the shit is about. A motherfucking white ass producer or whoever he from, whoever he is, they want to come out here and break some bread. Come, Capitalize on. Come the tell shit. us his life, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Shoot him right here. Say, you like you look at the script like this? Like how you know how to say this shit yeah. right here? Nigga, what yeah. the fuck you get? How you know this shit gonna get me killed or whatever, you yeah. know what I'm saying? You right up here, but just, just touch on that. By, by being Hollywood, you know, we got the, you know what I'm saying? Then you got the streets, like they can turn that shit into like a, what they call it, a, a historic landmark, you feel me? That's what I feel South Central is when I'm out there. I, yeah. I want to visit and drive down every street and watch this shit, you know what I'm talking about? I mean, it's to the point now where motherfucker from Missoula, Montana could tell you more about the hood than a nigga from the hood. Feel me? I tell you about some cripping and blood and the nigga that, that's in that lifestyle. It's cause they, they got it under a microscope. They so fascinated and it's so so much of a phenomenon to them and it's so entertaining to see us kill each other and it's so exciting to them that you know they, they got it under a microscope. They damn near study every everything a nigga do from a nigga walk to a, a nigga talk to a, the type of music we do. And I ain't talking about black and white, I'm just talking about, you know, street and non-street, like, you know, guttering. Suburb, you know what I mean? Like, just have not and have. You feel what I'm saying? So it ain't. I'm not just on black and white. You know what I mean? But it's a lot of that too. But like you said, it's just it's just like everything else. Africa was full of natural resources, but they do. All the diamonds they came and got them. All the gold they came and got it. All the niggas they came and got us. You know what I mean? It's the the, the continent is raped of all its resources. So you know what I mean? I guess the word they call it is colonialism. When they come and colonize your yo 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 land and take the resources. That nigga just thought you was a regular gang bang. Yeah, you know, I'm like I said. Using words like that. Yeah, I'm just, you know, I, we, we said it earlier, like I, I educated myself. I, I at one point I was ignorant and lost, but like you gotta know yourself before you do anything, before you can make a record, before you can have an opinion, you gotta know yourself. So, you know, the same thing going on with rap music, the same thing going on with all of our culture. Whether it's gang banging, whether it's trapping down south, whether it's hip hop, whatever it is, like you know, if they if a motherfucker see it as a, as as an asset or as a resource, we don't got no 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 means to go get it. You know what I mean? Other than our little pistols and handguns, we gotten choppers and all that. These niggas got millions of dollars, institutions set up, like the LAPD, like the feds, like the FBI. All this is they army, and they army make it to where you can inflict your will. Meaning if a motherfucker don't want to do it from an agreement, you can come take it. If a nigga don't want to agree and do it verbally, well, you got an army to come enforce your will. So we, we that's what we lack. You know what I mean? We don't have no army that's going to come protect our natural resources because our shit is divided. How, you know what I'm saying? We, we don't even understand how we connected because, oh, you a blood. I'm from 60s. Fuck you. Or you you from over. I'm from 60s. Fuck you. Or you from a Trey. I'm from 60s. Fuck you. And that's, that's a fucked up mentality to have. But that's the culture of where we come from. To where, like, that's why my album is titled South Central State of Mind. Because we, we shit, not, we, we, yeah. The reason, why, the reason why I respect these niggas is because on some real shit is because that shit ain't a fad. This is niggas' culture. I don't respect niggas that's rappers running around and you from a city where that ain't even your culture and you throwing up a red rag or you yeah. throwing up a blue rag. Man, y'all niggas is faker than a motherfucker, man. Faker than a motherfucker. Niggas, niggas don't even know the code. They got a red rag on what? The left side. The left side. Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. And videos, man. Yeah. And promoting that shit to the kids like that's what's up. And that ain't even your coach. I could respect LA niggas. I could respect niggas that whose cities, that, that's what they embrace. That's what they grow up under. That, 
these niggas pretty much ain't got no choice. If you grow up in, in the 60s hood, nigga, you a 60, nigga. If you grow up in the age rate hood, you a age rate, nigga. If you grow up in this hood, that's what you is. But if you grow up where there ain't no gang banging, and then you become a grown ass man and wanna throw a flag up, throw a rag up, I mean, get the fuck out of here, nigga, you fake ass nigga. Say nigga. what? And they say Sue Wu and all that dumb shit. Them niggas ain't real, man. Niggas ain't real. Ain't and, and, that's, and that's not disrespecting the no, real no, man. No, 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 yeah, yeah exactly. Here, but, real but talk. Niggas, that's putting it I'm on. talking about strictly fake niggas. If, you, if this your culture, this what you grew up in, that's what y'all do. Man, it's all love to y'all. I'm talking about fake niggas. Like a nigga that'll grow up in Philadelphia and throw up a red rag or a blue rag. Man, get your funk, man, get the fuck out of here, nigga. Cause we on, we on war out there over that. We war over green. You feel what I'm saying? And drugs, and, and, and we don't war over. That ain't, that ain't us. You feel what I'm saying? So do you fake ass niggas that's out here fucking a nigga culture up? The, what niggas really was raised and grown up? Man, fuck you niggas, man. If you ain't never looked to the eyes of a real nigga, I'll give you a chance, nigga. Tell fuck him. you niggas. Gilly said it, nigga. Nigga, I said it, nigga. <laughs> Fuck you niggas, man. It's a lot of you niggas on TV running around. It's faker than a motherfucker. Three dollar bill ass niggas, man. Fuck you niggas, man. Clogging the lane, clogging the lane for my real niggas. That shit needed to be put out there, man, because that shit really going down like that. Clogging the lane up for real niggas. Clogging the lane up. I got niggas that's really living in that shit. Been you know what I'm saying? Shit, this man. nigga really grew up in that shit. Man, you know this is what so. these niggas is from. You don't even see no them game. niggas on that shit. They no video. He trying to teach. He trying to teach young niggas other shit. You and feel then, what I'm saying? That's what I'm finna say, like, oh, you know, like my nigga J-Rock, J-Rock from Bonnie Hunters. I'm from 60s, you know what I'm saying? We came together with our moves, you know what I mean? Cause that for a minute, it was, it was, it was, the undertone in the street was, oh, Nipsey don't fuck with J-Rock, J-Rock don't fuck with Nipsey, them niggas got issues and all that. So we took a, we took a, 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 a natural step to just sit down and chop it, like, and, and I fuck with the nigga based on the type of nigga he is, not based on who he is, where he come from, based on the nigga he is before all that, and vice versa. And now, I, I, you know what I mean? I'm good over there. I can go through the nigga since, my nigga. They know where I'm from, but it's a mutual respect. You can come to on Grindhurst and on 10th Ave. The nigga's gonna respect me. On Sloss. On Sloss. Huh? We was on the we was on the <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I was, so you know, and that's the example we trying to set. You know, this shit been going on for decades. And a lot of niggas, that mentality grew into cancer and killed him. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So. That's why I nigga want to reverse the mind state in our city. And that's what my whole movement is about. You know what I mean? Niggas might see me as a, oh, he's a hypocrite because his video is him with his homies throwing his hood up. But nah, you know, I'm just... I'm Representing you where you from. I'm expressing the culture of my city. Yeah. 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 So, you know, and, and I'm not talking to you, you niggas that would even say that. I'm talking to the niggas that's listening. The young niggas that's coming up looking at a Nipsey or a J-Rock or a Game or a Snoop Dogg as... as quote unquote inspiration. Real talk. You know what I mean? I'ma tell you the truth. I'ma tell you like I love you and I don't even know you. But on hood, if I don't if, if I don't love you, I'ma tell you whatever. I'ma tell you what's in my benefit. If I love you, I'ma tell you what's in your benefit. And repeating the mistakes niggas like us made, the niggas before us and the niggas before them made it, not in your benefit. Real talk. You know, what's in your benefit is to get around shit like this. Real talk. To get behind the camera. Hundred million dollar niggas. Yeah. That's why we provide an opportunity. That's what we gotta set it up. That's it. And that's the other thing. Why, why I break this down is like, we the big homies, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can talk to niggas that's going in my hood, niggas be like, man, got you man. Who came in, came stuck to the street? I'm like, why we can't? Like, he, he got two, three that losses, you got two, three, four losses, but you gonna give it up to everybody gone, you know what I'm saying? The, 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 the sons of niggas, daddy who ain't never met their daddy's gonna let them say, I gotta go to that side because my daddy gonna let them learn about that shit, you know what I'm saying? And that's really like, Something I feel happened here. And it's like that real like that real genocide, that real, you know what I'm saying, gentrification, that little like colonial, all that shit looks like real, you know what I'm saying? Like so I be looking at it and say you put it on the movie, you feel yeah. me? Educated nigga, you put it on a banging on wax CD, educated nigga, <laughs> let a niggas air that shit out. It's like exercise, let a nigga yeah. get I I done ran into a few active motherfuckers on this camera. Yeah. Oh hold on, let me sit up on my hood. Ooh. 
woo-woo, yeah. I was like, damn. Yeah. Like, yeah, that was a whole, hey, on the hey. record, that was the longest woo-woo hey, I ever that's, heard. That's how a nigga do it. That's how a nigga come He hit you with it. 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 It's like it's on. Let the nigga walk on. And this is what I learned out in Cali. Nigga, I'm on my way to the telly. Get that smoke. whoop de whoop 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 Yeah, nigga. Y'all put the rest to it, nigga. I'm on my way to the telly. Hey, tell him. Figure it out, nigga. I'm on my way to the telly. I'm a roll up, the whoop de woo woo woo. Hey, and y'all niggas hey, put the rest hey, to it. Look, 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 look. Hey, I'm gonna really give you what a whoop is. Whoop is like you got one of them chickens and you put the whoop on it. Yeah, yeah that's that whoop, 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 whoop. You put too much whoop on it, nigga. Gonna be like, nigga, put too much whoop on it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we ain't gonna say that. Chill, niggas, though, man. But not for real, like, really, like this shit. This shit is really like, man. This, we gonna break ground. We gonna roll through the schools. I get this nice tour I'm putting together. I'm yeah. putting. I'm going up this shit like Jesus, man. Like, pop, hold on, we ain't never did this. Yeah, he got it. Due to the night, thanks to Crippin' on the daily. You feel me? Let's do this shit. We popping off for the motherfucking BET shit. We off the side, man.